Hi, my name is Susan Gilbert, and I'm going to do a short video for you on the new Flickr layout. I'm going to go over a couple basic things like how to upload photos and create a photo set. The new layout just went live the end of May, and I was quite surprised whenever I created a new account the first part of June, and everything looked entirely different. I couldn't find a video on YouTube that went over the new layout, so we're going to do just a, a quick, basic video on the two features that we're going to cover today on uploading and creating sets. And I'm sure there's much, much more to explore, and it looks very exciting. So on the upper right-hand corner where it says Sign In, you would click on that and enter in your own um, ID. Now, I'd already logged in once before with the account that I'm currently using, and so it's already pulling that up. All we need to do now is enter in the password, which will not show up on the screen for security purposes, but whatever Yahoo ID you have, you would enter that plus the password and click sign in. Now once you've signed in, it will take you to your account. You know it's your account because it says smile Mary M. Camino. So that's this account, it would be whatever your Yahoo ID would be there and you can tell that's your account. Now these photos down here aren't yours, they're just photos that have been recommended to such a high level that they're showing up on the main Yahoo page. But for your photos, you would click on you and then choose the options. In this case, we're going to go to the photo stream and take a look at the photos that have already been uploaded. So if we want to add a photo, we would go to upload and you have two choices here, the big pink button, choose photos and videos. And note, uh, you're, we're going to have up to one terabyte with this new Flickr layout um, of storage for images. And I can't imagine that we will ever run out. So that's a great new addition with the new Flickr layout. But I'm going to click the button in the upper left hand corner. It's the same thing that says add. And I'm going to find I've been really slow on um, uploading images, but um, I uploaded a few from my phone just for this, so I'm going to click on one of them for now. I'll come back and show you how to upload multiple at the same time, and then because I'm on a PC, it looks this way. It would look a little differently if you were finding it on a PC folder. So right now, it's just editing one photo. It's uploading that right now, and we can add a description, add tags, add people, add to sets. We'll go over that in just a minute add to groups. So right now as it's uploading, um, I'm going to wait to see what photo I actually uploaded. Oh, I remember him. So just to show you how this works, I'm going to say French, whoops, French man at the bar. Do you remember him? He was at the uh, bar in Montsegur. So after I've added anything that I want, I could put Montsegur here. Hopefully I'm spelling that properly. And after we have it ready, then we can click. Also, if you upload an image that's sideways, um, you can click rotate and get it to looking the way that you want it. And then when it's all complete, you click the button over here in the upper right hand corner that says upload one photo. And yes, we're going to upload to the photo stream. So now everybody can see it. Yeehaw! If we uh, refresh the photo stream, it should be the first photo on the left, and it is. So now, if we want to add this to a photo set, currently, if I go over here to sets, there's two sets. One that I set up to get the, everything started here, and one that Maggie has created. Um, and you don't have to create sets, but it is a way to keep your photos separated and for other people to know who took that particular photo. So if we go back to the photo stream and click edit, it's going to give us the last few options here. And if we wanted to, we could delete that photo. We could add a comment to that photo. Um, and let's see, anyone can see we could change that. So those are the things that we could do by editing. We're going to go back to the photo stream and back to 
sets and I'm going to click on Susan's photos because that's where we're going to add it and click edit there. So now we're just editing that particular set. You're going to see that it's going to bring up all the photos down at the bottom from the photo stream, but this is the only photo that was mine. So I'm going to upload that by just dragging and dropping it and now it's in my photo set. So once um, I guess I really don't need, well, payout fits for that. Um, so once we have this done, then I'm going to click, I could do, you don't have to do any of this, I'm just showing you French man. Okay, so the two photos now have two different names, and you can click save. All right, so now Susan's Photos has two images. So let's go back to the photo stream. And let's say that we want to create a, a set that is just maybe um, one location. You could also do it that way. Okay, so now I could drag a photo and that becomes the cover. But I could also drag this one up because I remember that was the hotel where we had our dinners and uh, the last where some of us were able to stay. And hopefully I'm spelling, oops, got a T there, doesn't it? Montsegur, okay. After I've done that, you always want to press save. And now we have a photo set called Montsegur. We have a photo set called Susan's Photos and Maggie's Photos. Um, if, let's say, any particular, let's go back to the photo stream. Um, let's say that I would like to um, get prints of this photo, or let's even go a little bit further here. You'll see these buttons down. This is a way you can favorite it. You can comment here, or if you click this little up arrow, you can email this to someone. You could post it on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, and more ways to share would be LiveJournal and Blogger WordPress. You can grab the link. You can grab the code. So there's lots of different ways to share this particular photo. If you want, um, go back to the other one. So th this is another way you can see you can scroll from left to right if you only want to see one photo at a time rather than completely in the photo stream. If you click these three buttons down here, you're going to see lots of different options here, including order prints, view as a slideshow, view all sizes, um, more things about adding tags and notes, remove, add or remove from a set, but let's view all sizes here. And you can bring the image up in all these different sizes. You can download the entire one, or let's say we just want a little square of that, well there's a tiny one. And then you can download the square size of that one. So we always return back to the photo stream to see all the different images that have been uploaded, but then getting down into sets and favorites are some other ways that you can view photos. Right now we've got 133 uploaded and I'm hoping we're going to see a whole lot more. I saw those cameras and phones flashing like crazy during our trip, so hopefully we're going to see a lot more now that I've done this video, which I will upload to my YouTube channel. And let me know if uh, you have any other questions. Thank you so much.